The state cars come in all shapes and sizes and prices. So this Dacia Logan starts from £7,000. This one here is actually £11,000. And then at the other end of the scale, you have a Mercedes E63 AMG S estate. So this starts from £90,000. This car here is about £110,000. So 10 times the price of the Dacia. What am I going to do with them? I'm going to perform a series of tests to see if the E63S delivers sufficient added luxury and performance over the Dacia Logan to warrant all that extra cash. So let's start with their standing quarter mile times. This is a really important estate car drag race. Let's say you've got to get to the tip before it shuts, you've got a boot full of garden rubbish. Are you going to get there first or not? Who knows? Let's find out. So I've got 90 horsepower. He's got 610. Oh, I had a better start, then it bogged down. There's no red line on this car, there's just some numbers in the, in the rev counter. Oh, it doesn't like being up there. There's a weird noise coming from, from the car. Right. That, that's it, that's the stunning quarter. Can't even see the Mercedes. The Mercedes did the standing quarter in 11.2 seconds. The Dacia took 18 seconds. So that's one nil to the Merc. Now to even things up, we're gonna have another race. This time I'm actually on the finish line of this standing quarter mile. The Dacia's at the start line. He's gonna try and do a standing quarter and when he comes past me, I am going to accelerate. I'm gonna see how long it takes me to catch him up. The important thing is to find out if I can catch him in a shorter time than it takes him to do a standing quarter. Let's see. Here we go. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. I've engaged launch. I'm on lock. Go. Oh, come on, car. It's wet, but I'm going to catch him. Come on. I don't know how fast he's going there. Come on. This is going to be so close. So close. Got him. Woo. So that's an easy two points for the Mercedes. Now though, I'm gonna jump into the Dacia to see if it can win one back. Now I'm gonna see how fast I can go in the Dacia from a standing start in 20 seconds. Oh yeah, we'll spin. Come on. This little diesel engine. Feeling very fast. <laughs> I'm frightened. I was so partridge. That's 80 miles an hour. Bang on. 80 miles an hour. Or, well, it actually was more like probably 78 miles an hour. 78 miles an hour in the Dacia. Right then. Now what I'm going to do is repeat the test in the Mercedes. So I'm going to accelerate as hard as I can over 20 seconds, see what my top speed is. I'm going to try and double what the Dacia did. So here we go. It's 100. Come on, Mercedes, what are you going to do? 140. It's going to be close. 160. Oh. There we go. That's about 165 miles an hour. <laughs> well, that's 3 0 to the Mercedes. I'm going to get back into the Dacia for a challenge I think it could win due to its light weight. Right then, we're going to do a braking test from 70 miles an hour. When we hit the cone, we're both going to do a full emergency brake. I'm in the Dacia, it weighs 1.1 tonnes. The Merc, that weighs two tonnes. So here we go, cone is here. Come on, Dacia, you're lighter. You're lighter, but your brakes are a crapper, clearly. I'm not sure about the ABS either. It seemed to give up quite a bit of tyre smoke. Um, Right, that is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? It's almost like a car length. Oh my God. So that's 4-0 to the Mercedes. Can the Dacia save some face in the final test, which is about comfort? Surely it should favor the non-performance car, right? I'm in the back of the Dacia Logan and we're cruising along at 70 miles an hour. And I have a vibrometer on my phone. So I'm gonna place it here, I'm gonna start it and see what we get. The suspension is on the soft side, so it might help iron out some of those bumps, which, which I can see on this runway we're driving down. So, okay, right, I'll just pause that. 
and it's done a mean of five. So a mean of five, that's moderate hanging objects swing. So Dean 70 in the Mercedes E63, the air suspension is in comfort mode. So let's start the vibrometer, I'll put it down there. Ooh, it's interesting. That's long enough. The Mercedes averaged 4.6, bit better than the Dacia, but I think it's a moral victory to the Dacia, really, considering how cheap it is, and it's not really that much different. <laughs> So in the end, it's 4-1 and a victory for the Mercedes. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and click on our logo to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to turn the notifications on so you're alerted when we make a new upload. Also, click on the video windows for more content.